everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. A good old Game Boy game, as you can probably tell by uh, just just looking at it. Just look at this. Does this not scream Game Boy game to you? Like, just look at it. It's It takes me back, man. I feel like I'm looking at my Game Boy right now. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury, we did Legacy of Goku 2 a hot minute ago on the channel. I didn't do the first Legacy of Goku because that game sucks, from what I remember. But Legacy of Goku 2 and Boo's Fury are both very fun. I actually like Boo's Fury more than Legacy of Goku 2, I would say, at least from what I remember. I haven't actually played Boo's Fury in a hot minute. It's been a while, and I haven't played Legacy of Goku 2 other than when I did it on the channel, and I didn't even check when that was. So, I think it's been a minute, I'm not sure. But I'm excited to play through Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury again. We did Budokai 2 not long ago. By not long ago, I mean literally like three days ago. And I beat the story mode in one stream. So I was like, I, I need more Dragon Ball Z. That wasn't enough. So, man, which, which new game slot do we use? Game 1. Let's start ourselves a new game of Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Previously, in Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. Also, chat, let me know how the game audio is. I think it might need to be turned up a bit, which I can do, but let's let's actually get into the game and start punching stuff before I mess with it anymore. Goku's son, Gohan, was able to tap into his deepest powers and finally destroy the monstrous cell. Finally, after years of turmoil caused by Dr. Jiro's androids, the Earth was brought back to normal. Except for one thing. I did Legacy of Goku 2 about two years ago. Dang, I do not feel like it has been that long. Goku, who was killed in a desperate attempt to defeat Cell, could not be revived by the powers of the Earth's dragon. And despite a clever plan to bring him back to life, Goku decided it would be safer for the Earth if he didn't return. And so, friends and family were forced to say goodbye to the Saiyan they loved. Oh, look at how peaceful everything is, just with Goku being dead. Despite this terrible loss, the world was finally at peace. Or was it? Oh no, it's getting dark. Yeah, that looks creepy. Oh, we got creepier. Somewhere on planet Earth, something ancient and horrible was sleeping. A terror beyond imagination. Oh, am I about to get to hear the laugh? And the forces of evil were preparing to awaken it from its primeval imprisonment. <laughs> yes, dude. That Bobbity laugh lives rent-free in my head. Chapter 1. The Other World. Meanwhile, millions of light years above, along the winding track of Snake Way, Goku was adjusting well to the life in the other world. Chat, do we think that the game audio needs to go up a little bit? I know I said we were going to wait until we were punching, but I'm, I'm just looking at Streamlabs and it looks a little low. I'm going to preemptively turn it up a little bit. Just turn that up a, a little smidge. I forgot how long Snake Way was. Listen, King Kai, can't you run any faster? We're not making very good time. How many times can I say this? We can't make bad time here because in this world, time never runs out. But I still can't wait to see this Master of Otherworld you told me about. Talk about the ultimate fighting challenge. I have to tell you, Goku, you better not think lightly of him or you're going to be in trouble. Maybe if I explain. You know I am King Kai, and I watch over the Earth, and you're part of space. But the universe is divided into four quadrants. There's the North, South, East, and West quadrants, each with their own King Kai. But further above us is the Grand Kai. He, tr he rules over the Kais themselves. And he's also a martial arts master with a planet full of fighters, which is why we have to get there right away. Say, how do we get to the Grand Kai's planet anyway? You have to take a plane. It's called the Higher Plane. Haha. <laughs> And it's docked next to King Yenma's castle in the end of Snake Way. Did I say Yenma? It should be just Yenma. Thanks, King Kai. I don't want to be late, so I'm going to run ahead. See you there. Go to King Yenma's castle. Yeah, there were two M's there, which confused me. I thought it was one M. It'll take me too long to cross Snake Way if I just walk. Make Goku run. Have you considered flying? Yo, my boy be dashing, though. Ah, yes. Instant transmit. What a move. 
Come here, me, huh? All right, sick. Let's get moving. Fun fact, there's data for Androids 13, 14, and 15 as well as Super 13 in this game, though it's weird for that content to be in the game since it's pre-Boo Saga. That is weird. That is definitely a Cell Saga movie. Yo, King Yemma. Can I have the next soul, please? Hey, King Yemma, how's it going? Well, what do we have here? Our old friend Goku. Dead again already. Goku, wait up! Am I gonna have to put a leash on you? Uh, Goku would absolutely need, like, a child leash. King Kai? How in the world did you die, Goku? Well, it's a long story, you see? No time for long stories, we have to get going. Nice seeing you, King Yemma. Oh, something fun you can do, by the way, is you can use L and R to move the text box around. Say, where is the higher plane? It's the door to your left. Are you sure you don't want a cup of tea? Yo, this desk does not look mahogany, my dude. Welcome to King Yemma's castle. You're gonna want to talk to King Yemma. I do what I want. Where are we? Oh, you poor lost soul. Sir, you can't go this way. I'm afraid you're gonna have to wait in line, like... Wait a second. You still have your body. I haven't worked here long, and you're the first person I've seen who has kept their body. What do you mean you haven't worked here long? How did you get hired? Where, where are you from? Please, go ahead. How does the afterlife in Dragon Ball Z work? I don't think they ever go in depth about it because it's nonsense. Anyways, there's that junker of a plane. I want to take the good plane. This is the plane to heaven. The higher plane is on the other dock. Okay, fine. We'll take the garbage plane. Fine. Fine. Vensins, thank you for cheering 500 bits. Greatly appreciated, brother. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you. This is it, Goku. The plane that will take us to the Grand Kai's planet. What? How can we get stuck with this clunker of a plane? I really wanted to ride the big fancy one. Oh, Goku. Yo, that plane ride was so fast. This is it, Goku, the Grand Kai's planet. We flew a plane to another planet? <laughs> really? It doesn't look like much. It's a heck of a lot better than King Kai's house. Watch your mouth! Oh, sorry. I guess it is more impressive than your planet. Oh, dang. Goku heard me. Especially since your planet was blown up when Cell exploded. Goku, don't remind me. You're a very rude man. Uh, you know, it's not rude so much as he's an idiot. But he's got the spirit. So where is this Grand Kai? I want to see him fight. To tell you the truth, Goku, in all these years, not even I have had the privilege of seeing the Grand Kai fight. But it is said that no words can describe his fighting style. Wow. So when do we meet him? Well, you'll meet him when he is ready to meet you. It's not something to be taken lightly. So why don't you go introduce yourself to some of the other fighters? Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, one more thing. You see that circle on the ground? It's called a save circle. Stand on it and press the A button to save your game. Thanks, King Kai. I'm just gonna break in. Goku! Don't go into the Grand Kai's house without permission. Have you no respect? Oh, wow. King Kai actively calling out Pokemon games. Oh, this is the one I wanted. Mint condition. I should have known he had one. Look at her. Whoa, classic chrome detail, real leather interior. Check out those fins. It's cool. Okay, dude. Save the game. Game saved. Oh my goodness, look at all these colorful people. Greetings, King Kai. It's good to see you. Hello, Olabu. I'd like you to meet Goku. He's new here. Hey, Olabu. Olabu is from Earth, just like you, Goku. Most of your heroic legends are based off of this guy. He's working on his 10,000 years of training, and as soon as he's done, he'll be able to train with the Grand Kai himself. 10,000 years? Does everyone have to train that long before they get to train with the King- with the Grand Kai? I was gonna say the King Kai. Well, yeah. You have to show that you're perfectly qualified, or else you'd just be wasting the Grand Kai's time. I guess. You should talk to the fighters here, Goku. They might be able to teach you a thing or two. Train with other world fighters. Okay, so these guys basically give you the tutorial, talking to these people. Hey, you're new around here, aren't you? Want some fighting tips? Hit me. If you want to really kick butt, you have to use everything at your disposal to win. Sure, punching and kicking with the A button is cool and all, but all the really good fighters use the B button to do their special techniques. I just finished doing 5 million push-ups. You can really get a good workout in a place where time has no meaning. You sure can. Hey, you know how to block, right? Yes. Never mind then. Wait, blocking is, is it R1? Really? You're gonna get your butt handed to you on a platter if you don't block? Joke's on you. Who needs blocking? It's easy. Press the R button and hold it down. But be careful because even if you're blocking, you can still get hurt. 
wondering if I should have looked at my button bindings before, but B is circle and X is A. I wonder if I want to flip that so it matches a Game Boy. I was going to say a Game Boy controller. A Game Boy doesn't have a controller. A Game Boy is just a Game Boy. Oh yeah, I'm the bomb. No one can beat me. Want to know how I do it? What's up? I keep an eye on my energy and health meters. Do you see them in the upper left corner? Red is your health and green is energy. The blue bar shows how much experience you have until you get to the next level. Knowing these things is as important as knowing how to punch. Fighting isn't all about brute strength. You need to be smart too. I just like punch really hard though. All the best fighters train using weighted clothing. You should check out those chests over there and then come back and talk to me. Ah, oh, this is something that I love about this game. Is you can actually get these weighted training bits. This weighted training gear. And equip it. And then it actually lowers your speed and makes you move slower, but you get more experience, which is really cool. You can tell I'm moving just a little bit slower now. Even more so if you're the one actually playing. Like, you can feel it when you're playing. What's with all these guys? They keep talking about the A button and health meters. It's like they think we're in a video game or something. <laughs> that's, some, that's some funny fourth wall there. I know a way to get free items for free. Interested? Yeah, dude. When you defeat an enemy, sometimes they will drop items and zenny coins on the ground. To pick up the items, you have to walk up next to the item and press the A button. You can pick up the coins just by walking over them. Alright, it's not really for free. You have to murder someone for that. Hey, Goku. Up ahead is the Battlefield Royale. It's a grueling maze full of strong fighters. It's an incredible fighting challenge. Incredible fighting challenge? I'm so there. I admire your enthusiasm. However, many of these fighters have been training for hundreds, even thousands of years. Are you sure you're ready? I sure am. Good luck, Goku. All right, let's go. I love the music in this game. You're going down, rookie. Bet. Kamehameha. Idiots. Ow. I've been punched. Look at how much more damage I do. I'm so much better. Thanks for the money. Why do you dead people have cash on you, by the way? Bum, 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 bum. Look at what we have here, boys. A newbie. Yeah, newbie who saved the world, uh, or the universe, rather, a couple of times. Level up! I'm level 61! They start you at level 60 in this game, and the level cap is level 200, I believe, which I actually really like, because you're supposed to play this game right off the back of Legacy of Goku 2, obviously, because they, you know, tell you about Legacy of Goku 2 at the start. And, uh... At the end of Legacy of Goku 2, you get to about level 40, and the level cap is level 50, so it stands to reason that between the Cell and the Boo Saga, the characters would be at around level 60, give or take. You made it this far? Must be beginner's luck. Bring it on, fools. Get Kamehameha waved. I leveled up! It's not my Kamehameha! Also, as you can see, I'm getting stat points. I usually let myself stack up a few stat points before using them. But something else really fun that this game has that... Legacy of Goku 2 did not have is a stat system where every time you level up, you get three stat points, and currently I have nine, and then you get to allocate them to whatever stats you want of the available stats. Goodbye. Which I'll show you in a second. Bum, bum, bum. But what I'm gonna do first is... I'm actually gonna grind to... Level 70? I'm trying to remember, this game has level walls, just like Legacy of Goku 2, where you have to be a certain level to be able to proceed to certain areas, so you don't get somewhere too strong too early, and whatnot. And there's a level wall for Goku after Otherworld that's, I think it's a level 70 wall? But when we leave Otherworld and next get access to Goku, I'm trying to remember, I don't think there's a really good spot to level grind for him at that point. So normally when I play Boo's Fury, I just go ahead and level grind Goku to level 70 right here so that I don't have to do that annoying level grind later. Because it only takes about four or five of these guys to get a level up. So it's quick and easy. Do you also dump them into one stat for strong punches? No, I probably did when I was very young, but I do actually like using key blasts in this game, so I normally put some into key as well. What I normally tried to do when I was really young, I, and I first played this game, I'm, I think I might have just thrown it all into punch. 
But what I try to do now is I kind of like try and pick characters to focus on different things. So like one character, because you get to play as five different characters in this game. One character, I'll put a lot of theirs into key. One of them, I'll focus on punching. Some characters, I think Gohan is who I'm thinking of. Actually, Gohan, I normally try and have him just be like super balanced. I find it fun to do it that way. Get coming at me, hard fool. Level 67. Fine. So let's take a look at these stat points. Also, Miso Soup, which heals you, I believe. Yeah, 20 hit points. Oh, they actually have... A, dude. This game... This game has volume sliders. You know what game doesn't? Persona 5 Strikers. How? Wait a minute, where do you put your stats in? I don't remember. Oh, you do it here at status. You press A to use points. Yes, yeah, so we got like a lot of points. So let's let's go ahead and get strength up to 40. I don't what endurance make you take less damage or give you more HP? I don't remember. We'll keep Goku kind of balanced, but focus on strength right now. Die. Oh yeah, now we're doing 100 damage a punch instead of like 50. Literally just like doubled our attack output. Bum, bum. Endurance is simply defense, thank you. Two punch man. Is the headband just a headband and does nothing as equipment? I can't remember. Oh, I think I picked up a belt a second ago, not a headband. Yeah, white belt. Look, it gives me more endurance and you have to have a certain level to equip it. This game has surprisingly a lot more going on than Legacy of Goku. Not like a ton, but enough to be noticeable. When it comes to like equipment and stats and whatnot, which is part of why I like it so much. Boo's Fury, I definitely like more than Legacy of Goku 2. They're both very good GBA games. Some of the best games on the GBA, to be honest. Boo's Fury would definitely, like, if you told me to name my favorite GBA games, Boo's Fury would be one of the first things to come to my mind. Without a doubt. I played this game a ton growing up. Mine. Zeradius, Jonathan, Gizlek, other people, welcome to stream. Even Strikers on PC has no volume settings? I think on PC, I think when I played Strikers, people said the PC version had volume settings, but that's dumb. Why didn't the console versions have volume sliders? There's especially, especially if it's on PC, why would it not be on console? It was very dumb of Atlas, very stupid. Come here and die. And you should do it. There we go, level 70. All right, cool. Now we're good to continue on after I use these stat points. Honestly, we'll probably just keep Goku like this. Like when we get a level up, we'll put one in each. His strength will be five ahead of his power endurance, but otherwise he'll be kind of balanced. And he has a little extra endurance right now because of the equipment. Moving on. Most impressive. Olabu, how did you get here? I took a shortcut. Now you ready for a real fight? Doubt. What a fight. Okay, okay, you win. I give up. Say I have an idea. Follow me. Idiot. Will you be going for all the Z and Hercule crates? Probably, yeah. I got all the trophies in my Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough, right? This is a character gate. The number is the level your character needs to be able to pass the bar uh, barrier words. The color of the number is a clue to who is allowed to pass through. Orange is for Goku. Walk up to it and press A to open it. And by that, I mean punch it. Cave of the Ancients. This is the Cave of the Ancients. It is said there is an ancient artifact hidden inside. However, no one has ever been able to get to it. Easy. Kachin. Great job on blowing the door open, but if I'm not mistaken, this wall is made of Kachin. It's the strongest metal in the universe. 
Sure, your Kamehameha wave is strong, but I don't think it would bust through that wall. Uh, I don't have enough key to use instant transmit, which is what the game wants me to do here. I'm gonna have to leave and get key. Hold on, I have an idea. What if I use my instant transmit technique? To do the instant transmission, press L, yada, yeah, yeah, I know, but I don't, I don't have the key. Oh, if you stand still, then you recharge key, right? Oh, the game gave me back key. Thank you, game. I found a cotton gi. This is the ancient artifact. It's literally just a bathrobe. Amazing, Goku. I once met a Yardrat who used that technique. You're full of surprises, and this is only your first day here. I can't wait to see what the future brings.